Welcome to this mini-documentary series on the Defiance Game franchise. Imagine a universe where the boundary between a television show and a video game blurs, where the events of one medium affect the other, creating an interconnected narrative. That it is exactly what the creators of Defiance, a unique science fiction franchise, tried to accomplish. Developed by Tryon Worlds, it was an ambitious project that aimed to merge the world of gaming and television in a way never seen before. On April 2013, the Defiance video game was released. It set players on a terraformed Earth searching for alien technology as Ark Hunters. The game introduced a persistent world where players could choose from four origins and two races. A distinctive feature for player customization of the Defiance video game was the Ego Power Tree. It was a system that allowed players to customize and enhance their character's abilities. It consists of different branches, each offering unique powers and upgrades that cater to different playstyles. Players could invest points into these branches to unlock new skills, improve existing ones, and create a character build that suited their preferences. It was a strategic way for players to tailor their gameplay experience and become more powerful in the persistent game world. Alongside the game, a TV show of the same name aired on the Sci-Fi Channel on April 15, 2013. The show, set in the same universe as the game, followed the lives of the inhabitants of a town named Defiance, built on the ruins of St. Louis. Characters from the show made appearances in the game, strengthening the tie-in between the two mediums. The Defiance TV show was renewed for a 13-episode, third season, which premiered on June 12, 2015. But unfortunately, on October 16, 2015, the show was cancelled by Sci-Fi, citing financial reasons after having completed its third season. Even though the show only lasted three seasons, it is what made the Defiance franchise stand out with the continual interaction between the game and the show with events in the TV show influencing the overall game experience for the players. This dynamic interaction created a sense of a living, evolving world that players could take part in. While the concept was revolutionary, the execution had its fair share of challenges. One of the main differences between the game and the show was their longevity. The TV show was discontinued in 2015, just two years after its premiere. On the other hand, the game continued its journey, introducing updates like Dark Metamorphosis, even after the show's cancellation. Tryon Worlds also shook the Defiance fans by shifting its business model to free-to-play in 2014. This allowed more players to join the universe, but it also introduced microtransactions, a feature that received mixed reactions from the community. The world events in Defiance were dynamic, large-scale activities that occurred in the game world and involved multiple players working together to achieve a common goal. These events were triggered at random intervals and locations, challenging players to join forces and overcome various objectives such as defeating powerful enemies, defending key locations or completing specific tasks within a time limit. Players who participated in these world events were rewarded with valuable loot, experience points and other in-game rewards. World events added an element of unpredictability and excitement to the game world, encouraging cooperation and teamwork among players. Despite the challenges, the spirit of Defiance continued in a new form. In 2018, Tryon Worlds launched a reimagined version of the original game called Defiance 2050. It was an overhaul designed to take advantage of modern hardware for improved graphics and smoother gameplay. It featured the same map, story, missions, NPCs, enemies, sounds, HUD and other assets from the first game. However, the four classes have been replaced with four new ones, each of which has its own ego power tree. It offered a fresh start while still maintaining the core elements that made the original game unique a new yet familiar experience in the same universe, keeping the Defiance world alive just a little bit longer. However, on April 29, 2021, all Defiance 2050 servers were officially shut down and that marked the end of the Defiance franchise. So was it a success or a failure? It truly is subjective. 
From the perspective of creative and trailblazing while shooting for the stars, it was a pioneer seeking to integrate two platforms into a singular narrative experience. However, the obstacles it encountered, from the discontinuation of the TV series to the choice to go free to play with microtransactions, paint a journey riddled with highs and lows, and ultimately giving in to their shortcomings. Now I pose a question for you. If you had the chance to experience the game and the show, did you enjoy the merger between the two? Was it enjoyable and did it build an engaging universe for you to immerse in? Or was it a high-reaching endeavor that battled to meet its anticipated potential? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for listening, take care.